Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a good day. I hope you're feeling it. So today is a little bit of a different video for me and I thought that I would react to a new Netflix series that is going to be airing um, very, very soon. I'm not quite sure when, but it's going to be airing and it's called The Messiah. A lot of you guys requested this when I asked you what you wanted to see from me for me to react to this and kind of talk about it a little bit and so I thought that I would do that with you guys today. I am a little bit nervous but I'm also really really excited because I have never done anything like this so I don't even know what my reaction looks like on a general average day so I mean that's a little bit nerve-wracking but yeah so I have not watched this before I literally don't know anything about what it's about except obviously the name is called the Messiah, so I have a quite little assumption. So obviously the Messiah is Jesus Christ for the Christians. They believe that Jesus will come for a second time and he will be sent and he will transform the world. Obviously we also believe that Jesus Christ is going to come, but we first believe that the Dajjal is going to come. So the Dajjal is the Antichrist and he will also have the ability to perform miracles and transform the world and a lot of people will follow him. So this is called the Messiah, but I assume that it's actually going to be about the Antichrist because a lot of you guys were commenting when you wanted me to make this video about Dajjal, Dajjal, Dajjal. So I assume that it's going to be about Dajjal, not the actual Messiah. So I have a little screen recording that I'm going to be setting up and I have my AirPods in and we're going to just watch it together and have a little bit of conversation about it. Oh my God, that first second is just like so loud straight away <laughs> he's come out of nowhere and we don't know who he is what do we know about him he's leading desperate people so this is a cult we don't know who he's associated with that will happen in he could life. be creating an army or he could be leading them to their death so everything so far in the past 17 minutes will actually happen for the Dajjal who will come and he will come, we don't exactly know where he will come from or where the first place that he will go is, but we know it's somewhere in the Middle East. And a lot of people think that it will be Syria and basically a lot of people will follow him. You can see that there are a lot of people like interested in his message right here on the screen. A lot of, he has a lot of attention. A lot of people are listening to him and he's gathered quite an audience. So that will be what it will really be like. He will have a big audience and he'll come out of nowhere. No one will know who he is or who he's associated with and he will claim that he is God. So everything so far has been Islamically pretty good. that this is a very very dramatic westernized movie like it is so western uh what are you doing in syria syria delivering a message delivering a message delivering a message in syria so like i said syria a second ago where's the first place he was syria a message from whom? my father and where's your father a message from whom my father who is your father that was a very christian spin on it uh obviously we don't believe that jesus is the son of god as muslims and so when jesus alayhi salam does finally come down he will not be saying my father he will be preaching the oneness of god and guiding people to believe that there is only one god so that was a bit Christian. We've lost it. What do you mean? He just disappears. No one just disappears. Oh, they put, him, they put him in prison and he escaped out of prison as a miracle. Okay, interesting. That's a bit freaky to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually really scared. Like, what if I'm alive when the Dajjal comes? Voila. I actually get scared of that because obviously. Only the real true believers will be able to know that he is an imposter and not fall to worship him. And so it's just like really scary. Like, am I a true believer? Like, am I going to be able to know that he's an imposter and he is a kafir? And it's just a bit scary. Like, uh, will I know he's an imposter? I don't know. 
We all witnessed a miracle. He saved my daughter's life. He saved my daughter's life. Wow, that is interesting as well. It is said that the Antichrist, one of his blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the miracles that he'll be able to perform is that he'll be able to bring the dead back to life so it's interesting that they're putting this in the Messiah where Jesus Christ is meant to come back and perform these miracles what a misguidance okay you need to see this bury it for as long as you can the other thing that I will say and I'm sorry I'm stopping it so often I don't know if you guys get annoyed at that or not because i've never done a reaction video before let me know if you would rather me just hold my comments to the end or whether you like me stopping and stuff but i will say that the way that the government is reacting in this situation would not be how they would react islamically because only those with true faith would be able to resist the temptation of the Dajjal. So if he were to actually come, the government wouldn't be trying to like make it a conspiracy theory and have them like trying to hide his miracles and stuff like that because they would feed into that and also follow that. And you'd probably see all over the news that they're broadcasting that this is Jesus alayhi salam or a stuff for Allah that it, this is God. So if that and when that actually, because that time will certainly come, but when that time comes, we're not going to be seeing the government saying oh like let's hide this and not show this to the world we're going to be seeing everyone feed into that and everyone wants to partake in this the Jal movement that people think that this is god or this is jesus he didn't just click his heels and end up here he clearly had help you get around syria israel texas palestine not israel but see how it started in Syria? That's another interesting thing. Like I just mentioned, I've mentioned it twice already, but how it started in Syria is getting around, which is another thing that the Dajjal will do. He will go all over the earth and perform miracles all over the earth to make sure that he misguides the whole earth, not just one part of the world. So yeah, that is something that will happen Islamically when the Dajjal does come. It's the nature of my work. And what is that work? God's work. Who do you God's think work. he is? You didn't see what I saw. And if I did, would I be calling him the second coming? How far will this new movement spread? I'm going to find out everything about Will he convert you, con you? Oh. See, I like that just reminds me how secular the world has become, where religion is seen as a con nowadays, and... Obviously, this guy is conning people, but that religion and just the fact that he is preaching a message of God, and obviously, like I said, it's the wrong message, but the fact that he is preaching a message of God is automatically seen as conning you and converting into faith, any type of faith, whether it be Islam, Christianity, whatever, is seen by the secular world as a con, like you have conned yourself by believing in God. I just think that that is um, interesting. This is bigger than what you can imagine. Okay, so I will say that it is a let me just turn the screen recording off. Okay, so my final thoughts. I just think that it's super interesting from the slowing point of view that so many of those things are going to be what the Antichrist is going to be able to do and the attention that the Antichrist is going to bring forth. And I just think that that's super interesting because here this Netflix show is feeding into this as the Messiah, that this is Jesus, that this is the one who was promised to be sent. And this is means of fooling people because all of the things that they're saying that he'll be able to do are things that the Antichrist is able to do. So from an Islamic perspective, this is like a major misguidance for people. And it's only when we know enough about Islam and we know about the Dajjal that we're able to not be fooled by these sort of things. So, yeah, it's very interesting. And 
actually it said that the Dajjal will come when no one speaks about him anymore. So when it's reached a point where we don't hear lessons about the Dajjal anymore and we don't learn about the Dajjal anymore and we don't teach our children to be warned of the Dajjal anymore, that is the point when the Dajjal or the Antichrist will actually come to the world. And yeah, we see that so often nowadays where I don't think I've ever heard of or been to a lecture about the Dajjal. So to put into perspective, I don't think I've ever heard of a mosque that is doing a lecture about the Dajjal. And slowly those times are approaching us where we don't know enough about him. We don't know enough about Islam in general. Our faith is so weak and we half of our ummah is not even practicing Islam. And so <laughs> we're slowly progressing to that time where we don't even have anything to protect ourselves with because we don't know anything about anything. So, yeah, some things were a bit Christianized and a bit, you know, it was intended for a more Christian audience, but a lot of the things were in line with Islam and are very interesting that it's being advertised as the Messiah as opposed to as the Antichrist because we know that the actual Messiah is Jesus will come after the Dajjal and he will establish Tawheed the oneness of God and the belief of oneness of God throughout the whole world and he will defeat the Dajjal and then that will be the beginning of the end of the world so yeah it's interesting and if you guys don't know about the Dajjal then I would recommend you guys going and learning about it because it is definitely something that I think that we should know about and something that a lot of us don't know about and yeah so that's my reaction video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you found some type of benefit in it and with that being said if you did like this video make sure you drop any recommendations down below that you have and make sure you subscribe, like this video if you did like this video. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And with that being said, I'm just going to go now. Like, bye.